How's it going everybody? Today, we're going over the trucks. Gotta fix that one. And gotta fix this one. And finally got it tuned. Let's get right into it. In this video we're going to go over the V6 electric fan for the Ram and the tuning that I had to do, well not me, but the tuner that I found here in Washington, the only one that does Mopar stuff apparently, and uh, how we went about adjusting the uh, fan temperature to make it work properly. And then there's one other thing we got to fix and then the Ram is going to be looking pretty good. I got a, got a nasty popping noise in the uh, aftermarket upper control arm and uh, I still got to talk to him but from what I hear it's kind of a common issue so let's see what we can figure out all right so let's go ahead and pop the hood open for anybody that is looking to do the v6 electric fan upgrade on their v8 hemi ram Mine's an 09, so there's a specific year that you have to get for the V6 fan um, that will actually have the correct plug. So we'll start off with this. So it's a four pin, or I shouldn't say four pin, it's a four way plug with three pins. Um, the harness side on the truck has two pins and then the fan side has three. One of the pins goes back to the fan. So that third pin is a surge protector. So when the fan kicks up and it has a voltage spike, it does not blow a fuse. Don't mind, uh, don't mind this little hose piece. Um, I had to put something over so this piece wouldn't cut through the hose. I've trimmed it down some, but as it heats up and cools, it rests. The V6 fan does come with a spot that this piece mounts on, but I still had to do some trimming and make it where this isn't going to rub through. But overall, this fan is literally just bolt in. It slides right in. Everything plugs right up. It's a plug and play system. It is 100% usable on this truck. As long as you adjust the temperature that it turns on at. So if you have a Ram and you're watching this video... You're probably aware that this truck comes with a clutch fan, a giant shroud, and an electric fan already on the truck. The electric fan is actually more or less used for the when the AC kicks on. Um, the electric fan is not triggered until 223 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I'm not sure why they set it so high. Uh, it's not the primary fan. I'm guessing that's why the clutch fan is the primary fan. The reason I'm switching to the electric fan, the sole reason, it's not power, which it's nice. It has a lot more throttle response. But my main reason is since I've owned the truck, I'm on my third water pump and third clutch fan. And I'm hoping that this will fix the water pump issue. Obviously, the cl clutch fan's not on here anymore, so don't have to worry about that. But... The water pump is not a fun task to do. You have to take this, the whole front out, the whole front end, everything out. Um, the last time I did it, which is recent, which is why I switched to the electric fan, I ended up keeping the radiator and the condenser and was able to get back there, but the job's not fun. So if anybody is in the Washington area, this is where I got my tuning done from. It's a guy on the Western Washington Mopar page, and fantastic job. He was able to hook up to the computer and just adjust the fan temperature, and then at the same time, he also turned off the MDS, which is the four-cylinder shutdown mode. 
Um, these trucks are notoriously known for the hydraulic lifters going bad. Um, the MDS, the four cylinder shutdown, allows the hydraulic lifters to collapse and only run on four cylinders when you're cruising on the highway or when you're stopped at a light to help with gas saving, so on and so forth. But longevity on these motors, they start getting what's called the hemi tick. A lot of people are familiar with the hemi tick. My truck has a little bit of the hemi tick. It's not horrible, it's not great, but it also has over 150,000 miles on it. So I had him go ahead and take the MDS off as well and adjust the fan temperature to kick on at 212. When I'm cruising, the truck really runs around 205, 206, sometimes 203. If I'm really climbing a hill with the trailer, it'll go up to 210, maybe 212, and the fan will kick on. And, you know, that's what it should do. So I have the Bully Dog GT Programmer. And with the Bully Dog Programmer, it does not allow you to change the fan temperature. Um, I believe the Diablo Sport, if you do not already have a programmer on your truck, I believe the Diablo Sport allows you to change the fan temp. It gives you a lot more options than the uh, Bully Dog GT. I got it at a dealer show. So the programmer that I have is, is it definitely does what I need it to do. Um, we actually checked the table to see what the programmer did. It advanced the timing overall by, f I think, 4%. Uh, I believe so. I believe 4% timing overall. And it upped the throttle response throughout the entire table as well. So the programmers do actually do something. It's definitely not any crazy custom tune or anything like that. But it definitely does help. But if you're looking to just get a programmer and do all this before you already have one, um, I would say Diablo Sport. There's plenty of videos out there that show the Diablo Sport and how to go through all this. Um, that's why in this video, I'm not necessarily showing you how to install this because there's plenty of people who have done this before. I'm just more or less giving my experience with it. And it is definitely a worthwhile upgrade as long as you get the fan temperature to kick on at the correct temperature. And if you're in the Washington area and you're looking to do the V6 electric fan upgrade, and I highly recommend it, it is definitely an upgrade, you can contact Kevin over at Skyde Performance Engineering. Uh, they've built their own software specifically for Mopar, um, specifically newer Mopar. Um, I'm not 100% sure on the years exactly, um, but mine's an 09, so that's when they switched to the newer body style. They gave it a facelift. I believe he also does the older models, which I believe starts in 2003, the bug eye style before the fourth gen. So if any of you are looking for any tuning and you're located in Washington, Kevin is on Facebook on the Western Modern Mopar page at Skyde Performance. But for the electric fan, that's pretty much it. Got the truck dialed in there. It is driving phenomenal, except for the popping. The popping is getting annoying. So let's go ahead and dig into that. So this is what we're working with. This is the aftermarket upper control arm because I have a leveling kit on my truck and this adjusts the ball joint angle. So we're gonna start off by pulling the cotter pin dropping the nut and see if we can't just remove this upper control arm off just to see that without disturbing anything else. I got the fan fanciest system in the world holding the truck up right now. So there's uh, no issues at all whatsoever. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it off. And no, this uh, system that I have going on here is not yet available to the public to be used. Well, got the upper control arm off and uh, figured out what the uh, what the issue is so it is walking inside of the bushings this little sleeve right here if you can see through there it's got some gappage this bushing is just worn out so it's popping back and forth you can see the the wobble in it barely 
but it looks like the sleeve and the bushings need to be replaced so I will be calling the company tomorrow and see if I can't get a ball joint and I'll probably get both and both replacement bushings for it as well and I'll probably get both sides and do both of them driver and passenger side at the same time but yeah this this walking is uh, is no good it's not a snug fit anymore so for now until tomorrow my uh, professional stand setup will be out here holding this up and I will get the uh, new parts for the upper control arm ordered up and get her slapped back together and then we'll go ahead and uh, do the other side at the same time since it was it was fairly easy to take off well I hope uh, this video is mildly interesting whether you're looking to do the v6 fan swap or you're looking at leveling kits or whatever the case may be but we'll go ahead and get this all fixed up and in the next video we're fixing this one but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always stay off road <laughs>